everyone, this is Anna Karin from Layers of Ink and today I have a, a quick and easy tutorial to share with you for a, um, a background made with a distress paint and gesso. And it creates a nice neutral background but still with quite a bit of texture and it's useful for lots of projects. I used it here for some tags and an art journaling page. Here you can see the cool texture it creates. I worked in an art journal, but you can also do this on a card or in a scrapbooking page. Just start with adding a layer of gesso. It doesn't need to be even or go all the way to the edge. So next you need some distress paint, a water mister with water, a pipette uh, dropper and some paint brushes. So now I'd uh, put a little bit of paint on a palette. I'm just using old plastic packaging. So you can see it's quite well used and add little pools of the paint there. You can try to use different colors. You don't need to use the ones that I used here. Next, add a drop of water or two drops of water to the paint. I, I like to put it at the side of the paint so you have both diluted and um, undiluted paint on the palette. And now for the fun part, start painting. Just paint all over the page. Uh, I usually start with a lighter color first and uh, I actually added a bit too little paint to my palette here so if I did this again I would add more paint but I don't want to stop recording. So at this stage you're going, not going to think this looks particularly nice but don't worry the magic will happen later. So just go on so I'm now using the darker gray and then Finally adding some of the dark ground espresso brown. Try to make sure you get some of the paint along the edge where, you know, across where, where there's no gesso. It's going to make for a nice effect. And now start spraying water. So you need quite a lot of water. You need to be generous with the water. Uh, I usually work one section at a time. In the beginning, as you can see, I'm spraying a lot of water and have a paper towel with an easy reach so that you can catch that water that doesn't flow uh, into the spine of the book and you have the paint on another page where you might not want it. And I'm speeding up the video a bit because this takes a little while. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Usually I just I spray more water and uh, I take some of it off and uh, even more water. As you can see the paint flows and reacts with the water in very interesting ways. Here we go, and sometimes I add more paint if I feel that an area needs a bit of more one of the shades or that it's too light. And then I just go on like this for a while and once it starts drying a little bit, you'll see that when you dab off the paint you'll create a texture that will actually remain uh, when it's dry. It's better to let this air dry and then the paint does its own magic. So right uh, before the paint has dried completely, you can wipe it off uh, with a paper towel uh, and maybe a little water and uh, you'll reveal some of the, you know, of the texture of the gesso. I waited a bit long because I was doing this video outside so my background was a bit too dry before doing that. But it also it adds a nice touch at the end. I turned this into an art journal page using the large outline Happy Die by Simon Says Stamp from the Let's Connect release. And you can find more uh, photos on my blog and there are some step photos for how I completed this. And um, thank you so much for watching and happy crafting. Bye!